welcome to my macbook pro unboxing i recently just picked it up yesterday it's the macbook pro 2021 it's in the color space gray Here's what comes inside the box. It comes with your charging cable. For my MacBook Air, it was smooth, so this one feels a little bit more rough, and the charger is completely different. This is what the charger looks like. And then you have your USB-C here, because Apple is like upgrading to the new one instead of the original USB charging block. And then it comes with your instruction booklet, and I really like looking for the sticker. So we're going to look to see if there's a sticker in here. So it comes with your instructions. It's hiding. Wow, that's so pretty. I've never seen a black sticker. Usually I only see the gray ones when I open my MacBook. So that's really cool. So there's your charger, your sticker, your instruction booklet. That's all there is on the inside of your box. Next, let's open up my MacBook Pro. So now they're asking about accessibility and I don't really need any of these. So I'm just going to say not now. And then we're going to connect to Wi-Fi. You can transfer data. You can enable location services if you want to. I'll just skip it for now. And you can select your time zone. If you want to share your analytics, you can. I'll just skip that. Set up later. You can set up your touch ID, which is so cool. So it's this button right here in the top right hand corner. So touch ID is ready. And then I like to go with the light because I can't really see when it's darker. And then here's my new MacBook. This is the design that came with when I opened it. For setting it up, you can Ooh, this is a lot different from my MacBook Air. I wanted to show you guys the differences between this one and my MacBook Air before I customize it for you guys. So the MacBook Pro is a lot thicker compared to the MacBook Air. This is my MacBook Air. This is the 13.3 inch. It's the 2020 version. This is really thin. There's only a headphone port here and then there's two of the USB-Cs here. It's very thin. And then this is the MacBook Pro. Their thickness is so noticeable. This is a lot thicker than this one. And I actually like this one more because I like the shape of it more. It's like completely rectangular. And then this one is like rectangular, but it's a lot smaller. I don't know. I just like the shape of this one more. And this one comes with a lot more ports, which I like. The charger is here. The charger is a lot thicker compared to this one. This is the USB-C charger. You can charge on either of these two for the MacBook Air. For the MacBook Pro, it has your charging port here. It has the USB-C also, and then the headphone port. And then for the other side, it has your HDMI cable, another USB-C, and then this is for your disc if you want to upload your picture or videos. Another thing I noticed is that the charger is really strong. So if I were to put the charger here, you really have to pull on it for it to come off, which I think is really cool. So it doesn't just automatically come off. For the inside, they don't have the touch bar. So Apple keeps on removing it and then putting it back. And also the touch ID, the button is completely different. This is more flat. My MacBook Air is just that tiny button there. I haven't been able to use it on this one because I don't know how to set it up, but for this one, it was really easy set up. The front facing camera is also noticeable. Like there's this little like dip here to show you guys that that's the camera. And then for my MacBook Air, I think it's just attached to the front. Like there's no dip. It's just like all straight. If you guys get what I'm saying, like there's like this black line on the top. So it's completely different from this one. That's all I noticed for the differences between these two. Now I'll be showing you guys how I'll be customizing my MacBook Pro. First thing I'll be doing is downloading Google Chrome because I use this one a lot more than my Safari. So we're going to be downloading this. It's very easy to download. You just have to open your Safari here, type in Google Chrome download, and then it'll start downloading here. And then you can add it to your dock. So now it's added to my dock. 
I turned on sync so everything downloaded from my old MacBook and my old Surface Pro so I have Adblock downloaded. I really like Adblock because there's so many ads when you go into a website so I have two of these downloaded so it's like extra protection. If you tell a party, I think I use this for Netflix so you can watch shows with your friends like on Zoom at the same time. This was really great for the beginning of 2020 because COVID and we we're all like inside so this was great to have. I haven't used it since and then I have two buddies so this is to help me with my YouTube. I'm still learning how to use it but this is really great. It's just kind of pricey. We have my Google Chrome and then you can set as your default browser. I like using Chrome as my default compared to Safari. It just a lot easier for me. I really like Google Chrome because you can change the theme so you can change the background of this. Like this is purple because it changed it to purple. So how you do that is you click on your person, you click on edit, and then you can change your color. And then you can also change your avatar. I like the penguin one because I love penguins. So you can change your avatar and then you can change the color. So if I want to be green for a day, it's a light green or blue. I'll keep it at light green for today because I think that's a cute color so you can change that so that's one way of customizing your new macbook and then we also have to customize this part you can just go on google and then pick a picture that you like and then set it to your wallpaper I actually already have a wallpaper from my last macbook this was my wallpaper I made for my first MacBook unboxing. I also put in the description so if you guys want to use it, feel free to use it. If you guys want a tutorial on how to make this wallpaper, I will link the video for my other MacBook Pro unboxing in my description so go ahead and take a look at that. So how you change your desktop wallpaper, you go to the search and you type in wallpaper, desktop, and screensaver and then from there you can click this plus arrow and you can go to your downloads or whichever picture you have in mind click on desktop wallpaper or your picture choose and then there's your new wallpaper and screensaver so this is mine i like this one because i think it's really aesthetic it didn't take a long time to put together just because i played around with it for a while so this only takes a few minutes so go ahead and check out my other video if you want to learn how to make this the last difference that i noticed between the macbook pro and the macbook air were their keyboards they're different colors so the macbook pro everything's like black for the keyboard and for the macbook pro only the keys are black and the background for it is silver all i have for my macbook unboxing i hope you enjoy this video don't forget to check out my other video if you want a tutorial on how to make the desktop background i'll see you guys for my next video